Hey guys, nobody off our castles and old buildings in Japan playlist. We sometimes pass this old house and we've often wondered about it because that roof shape is not a typical tiled roof shape at all. It's a high pitch, which is usually indicative of a thatched roof. So we've always been a bit suspicious about that. And we have seen roofs like that before that have been sheeted as this one has with some sort of tin. They'll sometimes do that to sort of modernize a house. So maybe, you know, 50 years ago or 80 years ago, they might have put that sheeting up there and the extra tiling on top to hold it down to sort of modernize it and also make it less maintenance because the thatched roofs do require to be replaced now and again, which is a huge job and a fairly skilled job too. It requires people to know what they're doing. And also in this area, thatched roofs are pretty rare Usually it's tiled roofs around here. Even the really old places are usually tiled around here. So the thatched roofs we usually see are up in the mountains. So anyway, we had a look around. Still suspicious. Came around the back here. And glimpsed underneath the eave up there. Where some of the, the timber had rotted away and fallen away. Sure enough, under that sheeting is a thatch. So they've left it there. Make, it's sensible to leave it there. Those things don't leak. Once it was covered with that sheet, it'll probably last forever under there. If it's not eaten by rodents. <laughs> Interesting little side note. They used to leave fires without chimneys in houses like this to let the smoke work its way up into the roof to keep the rodents and the bugs and things away. So it's been sitting empty for a long time, so who knows what's going on in there at the moment. So interesting, isn't it? And these aren't rare. We come across these now and again. Isn't it a gem? Anyway, there it was. More videos coming soon.